No, I'm a hot mess, but it's fine. Um, I really am a hot mess. Sometimes my face doesn't match my body and sometimes I'm okay with it. Um, I just wanted to come on here and say that I found my wedding dress. Yesterday I went and um, with my mom and my sister and my niece and like the idea of wedding dress shopping literally freaked me out. I was so willing to just go on Amazon. I actually almost did, but my sister stopped me just because I just really want to marry him. I really super don't care about, I don't know, the whole ringing the bell and the champagne and all that stuff. Um, but uh, we were getting down to the wire. It's like 90 days. And I was like, maybe I should go at least figure out my style. So my sister set me up an appointment at Alexander's, Alexandra's Boutique in Fall River. And I was dreading it. Like, oh my gosh, I was dreading it. I was like, oh, can't they just like find me one and be over? Um, so, um, but the morning of my mom texted me and she was just like, I can't wait to see you in white. And I just started crying. I was like, okay, maybe this is going to be really special and cool. So on my way there, I prayed, I prayed. I was like, Jesus, you are in dresses too. You can be there and tell me which dress to get because I don't want to be there forever. I don't want to have to come back 80 times. I just want to like find one that you want me to wear. And so like, I literally prayed about it, which seems, sometimes it seems stupid to pray about those like little things, but I pray about them all the time. Um, and so I tried on like maybe 10 dresses or so. I tried on like a huge ball gown for Abby because she wanted me to try it on. And um, then I tried on a couple other ones that I thought were my style. And then my sister showed me this one um, like on a photo. And so our, our consultant, Tanya, who's amazing. If you ever go to Fall River, uh, Alexander's Boutique, ask for Tanya. She's amazing. Um, <clears throat> so I shouldn't make videos this early in the morning. I'm literally still sleeping. Um, so I go and try on the dresses. I tried on this one and I was just like, I don't know. It's hard for me to say that I love something. She was like, well, what do you give it? One out of 10. I couldn't give anything a 10 because commitment that that commitment it was just really hard for me to like make a decision um but I liked every dress that I tried on I was like I could wear this I could wear this and um which <clears throat> if you know me you know that I cannot make a decision worth anything so the fact that I liked every dress that I tried on is like unheard of um it's like when I finally found American Eagle like I love all of their jeans I I hate jeans I cannot find a jean that I like but as soon as I found American Eagle I love all of their jeans that was a side note um, so I tried on this one dress, I, I gave it like a nine and a half, and then I tried on a couple other ones, and I was like, yeah, I could get these, this is like fine, and um, but I was like, can I try that other one on again? And so I tried it on, and it just like, I don't know, it just fit like a glove, I was like swaying back and forth, and like, my mom started to cry, and my sister started to cry, and all the things that you think are not gonna happen for you. They do, and uh, I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm about to become a bride. Like, I just thought about Bobby the whole time I was shopping, just like how grateful and thankful I am. And I think it kind of helped me focus on the reason I'm getting married and focus on what was right and true. Like, yeah, you wanna have a nice wedding dress, you wanna feel the prettiest, but there's a million dresses in the world and you can't try on all of them. And I learned that real quick, and I just really wanna marry him. Like, that's the part that I'm the most excited about. And I feel pretty because he makes me feel pretty. So it doesn't really matter what I'm wearing. He just really, really just fills me. And so this dress was right off the rack. It actually didn't even have price tags on it because they had just got it in a shipment. So it's a brand new style. They didn't even get to tag it yet. And I walked out with it and I, I bought it and um, I have it at my sister's right now. Like that was just way too easy. Walked in, bought it, walked out and no alterations needed. Maybe a little bit of a hem because I'm so short, but like it just fits me perfectly and I feel so, I don't know, I feel really mature and sexy, which I'm not really ever like, I don't ever feel sexy. Like it's not like, I feel pretty and cute sometimes, but like sexy is never like an adjective that I would describe with how I feel all the time. Like my sister's the sexy sister and um but i just felt sexy in this i just felt like i felt like a wife i felt like a woman and i just really really felt beautiful and my niece looks at me and she's like bobby is definitely going to cry and so is papa 
that's what she calls my dad and um so yeah I'm so excited I cannot wait to marry him I can't wait to see the look on his face and yeah I there was three things in my wedding that I did not want to like shirk on if that's a word number one was a photographer got my dream photographer love her can't wait number two was a dress I wanted to just look really really pretty and feel pretty and number three was a husband and he's pretty awesome so those three things were my main things as far as like getting married goes and so now that those three are like checked off the list it's just kind of like all right cool let's do the rest and just have fun and um yeah so that's my wedding dress story hope you guys are having an awesome day and I love you all.